Hey Mike, I was just watching your video about having trouble getting your Mini 14 zeroed in with your red dot. And, uh, well, I had to take a minute for a little bit of gun porn here. Anyway, I've got, this may or may not help you, but it's worth a shot, huh? Okay, Mick, what I've got here is a 223-0 chart. This is based on 55 grain full metal jackets, which you're probably shooting, same as me. Um, so, you were, you were saying that you were trying to zero at 100 yards. Now, the problem I see with that is that at 25 yards, you're going to be almost 6 inches high. It's due to the trajectory of the bullet. Oh, by the way, you like my pointer? thought you would. So what I did was I opted to zero at 25 yards. So at 25 yards, at 25 yards, I'm dead on. At 50 yards, I'm one and one tenth low. 100 yards, I'm an inch and a half low. At 200 yards, I'm coming back up and I'm back up to one and one tenth low. I figure it no more than an inch and a half difference out to 200 yards is going to get me right in there. The reason that is is because of the trajectory of the bullet. It leaves the barrel, it's basically going uphill because that's just the way the sights are. Um, 50 yards is also not bad. Um, at 25 yards it puts you two and a quarter inches high, dead on at 50, and then less than an inch low at 100, and almost dead back on less than one nine one hundredths of an inch low at 200 so 50 is another good option um, now you have to remember that our when we put these red dots on these minis we're going to be about two inches higher than the barrel so for real for short distance I think you have to add that two inches into this which makes it, you know, going to be four inches high. Anyway, so I used it, I zeroed at 25 yards. Now, I'll show you my target that I used. And, let me see if I can maybe zoom in just a little bit here. I got lucky. I had this, this is like an eight inch target, eight inch bullseye target. And I had it on a 24 by 36 inch target, so I could luckily hit paper. I got really lucky. Fired my first two rounds and hit right here. Adjusted up. Three rounds group there at number two. Another three round group here. Came up a little bit and over. My fourth shot was well close enough for me. Now I was shooting prone and braced. So this is you know way better than I will ever shoot holding the rifle. So then I went back over here and I decided to use this as a sighting in point and I shot three groups freehand or a three shot group freehand and got this right here. So I'm still pretty happy with that. That would, you know, correlate that over here. It would have been about right there. So anyway, just a thought. You might try zeroing your scope in a little bit shorter distance and I think even at a shorter distance you're going to have a better chance of getting closer to center on your paper so you have something to work with because well this much distance from here to here at 25 yards is going to be four times that at 100 yards I think anyway I just thought this might help you a little bit or give you another option I'm certainly no expert in this anyway take care and be safe Oh, by the way, I really like that Magpul AFG on your rifle. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get one and see if I can't get it mounted onto my rifle, even though I have the standard stock. I saw one on the internet that a guy had done, and it really looked good. I just The only problem I have with this stock is that it's so slick and hard to get hold of up here in the foregrip. Other than that, I just love this rifle.